Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and it's Debsy and the place to be, it's Debsy. That's me, boop, Debsy. Hey guys and happy Wednesday, it is Wednesday and I hope everybody had a great day and is having a wonderful week. Listen, oh, I have something to confess. Okay, so Real Housewives of New York um, the new season started last night. I watched it. We're going to go over that. But listen, I will admit, I had no idea that the new episode, the new season of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City started. It is three episodes in already. It's on on Wednesday nights. I saw an, an ad, a commercial on Bravo saying Real Housewives new Real Housewives of Salt Lake City Wednesdays. And I was like, okay, well let's go out there and let's um and let's set let's see when it starts. Uh oh and tonight is the third episode. So here's what we're gonna do. I am behind. Obviously I'm watching it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to watch the three episodes. I'm going to tell you that by the end of this weekend, we are going to be, I am, I'm going to try my absolute hardest to be all caught up and recap and rant about all of it. So we're going to do that. So listen, I have, we're going to talk about Real Housewives of New York. Um, the ba Golden Bachelor is tonight, so I got to watch The Golden Bachelor. I have to catch up on three episodes of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. And then also, I'm going to be watching and recapping um, the next episode. Next episode for me, I know everybody else has watched it. Um, the next episode for me of um, Secret Lives of Mormon Wives. Also, a little news on that was just confirmed today that they are getting Hulu is giving the ladies of mom talk a second season so hooray and yay but I have a lot to watch so let's get into Real Housewives of New York so it looks like this season we have two new housewives we have Raquel and we have um, Rebecca Minkoff I do not know much about either one of them however I'm telling you what, between the two of them, I am really liking Raquel. Now, I, is that how you say it? Raquel? Raquel? Um, I think this Raquel is going to be a lot better than the other Raquel. Um, and Rebecca Minkoff, she is like very big in fashion. Um, I'm not, so I have no idea who she is. As soon as I heard Minkoff, I was like, is she related to Rob from, Salt, or from um, Beverly Hills? Um, cause I do like Rob. Rob is maybe my, one of my favorite, um, house husbands, but Rebecca Minkoff is in Scientology. So I'm going to find out some more stuff about her and we'll discuss, but Scientology that might be one strike against you. Okay. So let's talk about Real Housewives of New York. The opening credits, they started off at the opening credits on like June 25th of this year. They were doing, the, they were getting ready for the opening credit shoot. It looks like lines are already drawn. This is, this is taking place five days after filming has, has ended. Um, so it, to me, it is looking like Ubat and Bryn are at odds. Okay, so we find out that Bryn, speaking of Bryn, she has moved. She moved into another apartment. She moved to Gramercy Park. And I feel like we're finally going to get to see inside her apartment. She also has um, a new puppy. And she says, I'm cool, she quote unquote, I'm cool with everybody. I guess that's for now, Bryn. Um, listen, Jessel and Pavit, Jessel, or Pavit tells Jessel, yeah, get ready, we're gonna go out to dinner. They take, they take the subway. We find out Jessel has only taken the subway twice in her life. And that she spent $900 on an Uber for a month. I have never taken an Uber or a Lyft in my life, ever. I think I'm just too worried about somebody 
like shooting me or stabbing me or abducting me. I don't know why they would want to abduct me, but I'm nervous about people. I don't trust people. It's $900. Um, and I'm going to tell you this much. Just, so Pravit is a food influencer. I 150% would watch Pavit talking about food. He loves food. He enjoys it. He just has such an affinity for food. He is like a true foodie. I would watch him any day of the week. And also we found out they're paying like a shitload to store their embryos in Los Angeles. Like why can't they just do it? Why can't they just storm in the same city? I don't know why it has to be on the West Coast. Um, Jessel's not going to try. Jessel, Jessel's not going to give up on trying to have that baby. Okay. <coughs> so this is a season. This season premiere is showing a lot of um, a lot of growth. I feel, and it's also some friendships I never thought would happen. Like Aaron meets Uba for lunch and they're good now. They are like absolutely good. Speaking of good, I got to tell you, Uba's hair in the confessional when it's like pinned up under, chef's kiss. I thought that was beautiful. I love that. Um, the new housewife, Rebecca Minkoff, they join, um, they join her. They join them for lunch. She is a friend of, um, a friend of Aaron's. I put friend of Jen. I think I put friend of Jen because to me, Aaron kind of bears a little bit of a resemblance to, um, Jennifer Aniston. Although Jennifer Aniston is like gorgeous. Um, okay. Uba is still seeing the same man, Oliver. And it's going very well. And she's like, maybe let's try for kids. So... Good for her. Um, Bryn, it turns out, is having a is having a party. Um, she is having a party because her brother is in town. She is secretly trying to get him to stay in to move to um to New York City. Um, Bryn's having a party now. I'm getting the sense that Aaron is not okay with Bryn. Um, she says she hasn't talked to Bryn in a while, and she hasn't seen. She hasn't seen Bryn. And Aaron said, usually what happens is, is like everybody, we hang out in one big group and then it splinters off to smaller groups. And that's when people talk about each other and we all get back together and we have different stories. And that's where the problems start. So Jenna had a girls night and it was, um, Cy, Jenna, Aaron, and Jessel. Um, Aaron says, she goes in and Jeff pulls her aside and is like, um, was it? Yes. Yes. Let me start over. Aaron said, I walk in, Jenna pulls me to the side and tells me what Brent and tells her what Brent told her. She says, Brent told her, Hey, Aaron said you're poor. Here's where it comes from. So they were all at the Hamptons at um Aaron's place. Jen has that antique coupe and it broke down. So Aaron called her an Uber and she paid for it. And I guess Jenna never paid her back. So Bryn then tells Jenna that Aaron said um that that you're poor, that you have money problems. Aaron's like, I never said that. Um uh, Aaron said, and Aaron said, she said something kind of similar, but she said it to be like, to be funny. Um, and even Jessel had said, um, well, maybe she meant it to be funny. Um, she wasn't trying to be mean. She probably said it to be funny. Also on the other side of town, Bryn is meeting Jenna and Jessel at a furniture store. She needs to get like a table or a couch or something. I think a table. Um, and then we find out that there is... There's some friction between Aaron and Brent because Aaron went on Jeff Lewis's podcast and Jeff was kind of saying like, how does she make her money? Meaning she meaning Brent, like how does she make her money? And are you sure she doesn't, um, where does she get her money? She get it from a guy. Is there an arrangement? So it was kind of like he was calling her like a, 
like a call girl maybe. And um, Aaron didn't, Aaron didn't say yes, that's what it is. But, but I think Aaron said something like, oh, I don't know. She didn't say that she is. However, she didn't also say, no, please don't say that. That, that can't be it. No, that's not it. I'm going to just tell you, I'm not a fan of Jeff Lewis. Um, I, I, I think, I don't know. I don't think he's such a great person. Like he, he does get the tea. I'm not that big a fan of, of Jeff Lewis. So there we go. Um, Sam, okay. So listen, when I'm talking about friendships that I never thought would happen, Cy and Jessel. So Cy and Jessel take a cold plunge, meaning they, you, you sit in a, a freezing cold tub and Cy says it's supposed, it's supposed to like help you lose weight. It doesn't. Um, that's what rich people do. I'll just stay fat. Like I'll literally, I'll stay fat and hot, eating carbs, and soup, being all fat and sassy. Um, by the way, when we're talking about confessional looks, size confessional look where she has like the bow in her hair. I think that's, I think that's chic. I think that's to, um, to channel, to channel Dorit. I think that's so chic. I really do. I love it. Um, but they're good. Cy and Jessel, they're good. Um, Cy, thank God, thankfully, she started therapy. And Jessel's like, she is very self-aware now. I mean, hopefully she has changed. We'll see. Um, Cy, however, we're talking about not being okay with Bryn. Cy doesn't seem to be too okay with Bryn either. Um, but to be honest, though, when they replay the reunion last year, and Andy was like, what about your relationship? I mean, between Cy and Bryn, what about your relationship? And she was like, I have a thousand friends. Like, so obviously she really doesn't, could care less about to have a friendship with Bryn. And Bryn was like, that really hurt because I took her in. And I can see what she's talking about because when it got to be the time for Thanksgiving and Bryn doesn't have family, so she didn't have anybody to spend it with. And Cy, as much as I was not a fan of Cy's last year, I will admit, she did take her in and had that whole, like, instead of Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving, it was Brynsgiving. And she invited everybody over so Bryn didn't have to, like, have, the, have dinner all by herself. I thought that was very nice. So I can understand, I can understand why she would be hurt. Um, and she said it just doesn't hurt. It hurts also. She doesn't, she just doesn't talk to her anymore. I mean, she has her number. It didn't change. Cy did say she's going to go to um, Bryn's party for her brother because she really does like her brother. Um, and Jenna, I guess Jenna had gone up to Cy and was like, why are you telling people that you hate me? And Cy had said, Cy said, Cy said she never said she hates Jenna. But she did say that if she said that you're telling people you can't stand me, then sure, that sounds like me. So she didn't come out and say, I hate you. But there's a strong possibility that she was telling people that she can't stand her. Mm, it still doesn't sound great. Um, and she does admit to Jenna not being her favorite last season. Okay, speaking of Jenna, okay, it is purge day in Jenna's closet. And she's there with her girlfriend, Cass, with, with her girlfriend, her girlfriend, Cass, um, her mom. And purging, listen, purging, <laughs> purging in Jenna Lyons' closet is much different from purging in my closet is all I'll say, um, or anybody's. So oh, in, a, in a season, maybe this will be a season of first that we actually get a peek inside Jenna's love life. So she's dating this woman, Cass. She's known her since like 2012. They've been dating for a year. So good for her. Um, and then her friend Raquel, who is a new, um, who is in a new, um, I guess she's a full-time She's a full-time um, housewife. She is, she's coming over to help. She is, Raquel, 
She's very established in the fashion industry. She was also married to a man, divorced, and had come out. Um, she's engaged to a woman by the name of Mel. And she seems very, I like her. I like, for now, I haven't seen a lot, but I like her. I also didn't know that if a man is birthed by C-section and they're a virgin, then they're a golden ticket because they've never touched a vagina. So I didn't, I didn't know that. Okay, so the golden couple, or I'm gonna say the golden couple for now, but it don't look like it. But Aaron, Abe, and the kids, they go to serendipity. So they moved uptown. Uh, it turns out, and this is sad, but Aaron's mom has breast cancer and they were thinking that we'll go in, we'll do the surgery and that'll clear it out. But as it turns out, it's more aggressive form and she needs to start chemotherapy. Um, Aaron has not told the kids yet because she wants to like keep them in the bubble a little bit more, um, a little bit longer. So I mentioned they moved uptown. So they moved they moved and they're in a they're in an apartment that's a little smaller than their other one because it doesn't have two floors. But um there's a town they're looking to move um, Aaron wants to move again because there's a townhouse. Now in my mind, I would think I was thinking, well, why didn't you just instead of moving to this apartment and then moving again, why didn't you just move to the townhouse in the first place? I mean, the only thing I can think of is, is maybe it wasn't available yet, or maybe she didn't know about it, but still, that's a lot of moving. I mean, I'm sure they got a lot of stuff. They got three kids. I would think that that would be a pain in the ass. Um, so the kids, the kids go away. The kids are somewhere having fun and serendipity. And Erin is talking about the townhouse. And she mentions how in the one room, there's cherubs on the ceiling. And I couldn't understand what Abe had said, but Abe said something about um, taking shrooms. And I hadn't, I, cause I didn't understand what he said. Um, but then they flash back to um, Jenna and Aaron and they were at Jenna's house and Jenna was like, oh, this room is, I think would be perfect if you're, I joke, it's perfect if you would be tripping out, this would be the perfect room or something like that. And then Aaron gets pissed because at what, at this joke that Abe said about these shrooms. And so she, she flips out on him and then he gets pissed and then he leaves. Well, she, to not to Abe, but to somebody else, to somebody or to the to the producer, she's like, it's one thing to joke about about this um, with friends, but you're not supposed to mention doing shrooms on camera. Well, here's the thing, though, Erin, your comment to Jenna was on camera, and it did run, so. That doesn't hold a lot of water for me. Um, and listen, give us the tea, Abe. The tea is gonna come out because Abe was like, I really don't think Aaron was upset about the um, my joke. It's just that there's other stuff underlying with Aaron. And Aaron's like, no, I'm not going there. And I'm not ready to talk about everything that's going on with Abe. Mm. And then at the end, for what's coming up this season on Roni, um, we find out that Abe was lying about something. So listen, it's a good thing they had that sponsored anniversary last season because I don't know. I don't know about these two. Um, so Bryn's party for her brother. Okay, so the ladies start arriving. I, as you can tell, am no fashion icon. However, I got to talk about a few things. First of all, I will tell you this point blank. Um, Jessel, Jessel's stunning. Jessel looked beautiful. Jessel is gorgeous. 
absolutely gorgeous. If I looked like Jessel, hell yes. I would be parading around all day. I would do makeup. I would do hair. Jessel looked stunning. Um, okay, let's get down to the real nitty gritty though. That dress that Jenna had on, I get it. She's a fashion icon. She is a style. She is like a fashion icon and legend. I get it. However, that dress... Seriously, when somebody said it said that it looked like it looked like a vagina on the period, um, it was horrendous. It was just, it was terrible. That dress was just, ugh. It did nothing for her. It really did nothing for her. Um, Sai shows up, and um, Bryn is like hopeful that they can work it out. Don't we know? We know. We know. Um, Aaron is apprehensive about seeing Brynn because of this supposed poor comment that she made about, about Jenna, which she says she didn't. Um, in my mind, listen, I feel like Jenna's playing both sides because she's hanging out with Brynn, but then she's taking everything and going to, um, to Aaron to Aaron and to Cy. Um, I don't know. I That's what I feel like. We'll have to see later, a little bit later in the season. Um, so Jessel is like, Jessel asks Bryn, she's like, did you get a text from Aaron? Aaron, Bryn's like, no. Well, Jessel got a, tes a text from Aaron saying, I'm so disappointed. Like very momish kind of, I'm so disappointed. Uh, Jessel's thinking that it's because of their discussion at the furniture store. Um, I once again put, by the way, Jessel is stunning. She looked gorgeous. Um, so Sai is talking to Jenna and Sai was like, Hey, listen, I never said I hate you. Um, but who, I never said I hate you. So who said that? Who told you that I said that? And Jenna was like this one over here. And she motioned at Bryn. Um, as Sai said, Sai so said, I never use those words. Now, this is me maybe nitpicking, but if she didn't say something similar, something along the lines, maybe not as harsh, then she, I would think that she would say, I would never say anything like that. But she didn't. So in my mind, She doesn't, like, she's not falling over in love with Jenna. I'm just saying. Um, Cy and Aaron, they're talking. And Aaron says, hey, listen, I was looking through the group chat. And Cy was like, did, did I say that I, did I say that I, I can't stand, that I can't stand her or something like that? And she nodded. She nodded, Yes. Aaron is wondering, like, hey, why is Bryn trying to ruin these relationships? And when Bryn has said things about everyone to Aaron, and Aaron would never say anything because she just doesn't want to ruin friendships. She's not like that. Sai, you can tell. You can tell um, Sai is done with Bryn. You can, you can just, you can see it. Um, Sai, when she's talking with Jenna, she admits that she said she didn't like Jenna. But she also says she said that because she really feels like she wasn't being herself last season and she hasn't gotten the chance to know, to get to know Jenna. Um, so everything, they make up, everything's fine. Um, but then Sai is like off camera. She's like, this is what Brynn does. She stirs up the pot. Because she just can't stand it when the others are getting along. So she feeds everybody a little bit of bullshit, a little bit of BS, um, so that they're fighting, so that there's infighting within the group. Um, apparently, so then Jessel and Aaron are talking, and and Aaron's like, why are you so mean to me? I don't, I don't understand what she's talking about with that. Um, Jessel asks, well, okay. So since we're talking, um, what's up with that text that you sent me about being disappointed? 
Aaron said, hey, listen, I was bummed that you sat there with, um, with Jen, with, um, with Jen, with, why can't I think? It left my brain with Jenna, with Jenna and Bryn, um, at the furniture store and, um, and talked about this, this comment that I supposedly made that, um, Jenna's, Jenna's poor. And I called Jenna poor. Um, uh, Jessel told Aaron, she's like, listen, I told them that I don't think, I think you meant it as a joke. I, I, I that's what I think. I think you said it as a joke. And Je Aaron is like, listen, last year, this comment, remember in the, the first episode of the season, Bryn said that Aaron made this comment about the cheese and then it was Cheesegate and um, for the longest time, her and Cy didn't get along. She doesn't want that to happen between her and Jenna. Um, she doesn't want bad blood with Jenna. She, and like I said, she says, she says this is what Bryn does, just like she did last season with Cheese. I mean, I can, I can see it. Um, Jenna says, and then so they call Jenna over, and she's like. Jessel's like, I, I told her that I think that you just said, you just made a comment to be funny. And didn't, oh, didn't Jenna throw, didn't Jenna throw her right under the bus? Jenna was like, um, they were both talking about it and, uh, they, they were talking about it and they both brought it up. And then on camera, Jessel says, Cause she was like, she says, I don't, I don't, um, I don't remember. I don't even remember what I said. I have two small kids, mom brain and ah, and this and that. And then off camera, she's like, yeah, I just want, um, when I, when I'm in that situation, um, and I want to say that I don't remember, then I just say that I have two kids, I have mom brain and it works every time. You shouldn't have done that because that is going to be, you know how reunions work now. This is going to be brought up. It's going to be, I guarantee you, it's going to be brought up at the end, Jess. So why did you say that? Um, so Bryn then is walking by and Aaron is like, ugh. And Bryn's like, what, what's ugh? So then Aaron starts talking about it. And Aaron tells Bryn, hey, listen, I know what you said. I didn't say, I didn't say she was poor. I didn't. I didn't say what you said I said. And um, she's like, listen, I have integrity. I told the truth. And that's something you don't do. And that's, and Jessel just confirmed that. Mm. So then Bryn, in turn, brings up the Jeff Lewis podcast. Um, Aaron's, Aaron's like, I didn't say that you sleep with men for money she didn't true now true she didn't say it however she also didn't correct him and that's where if i was Bryn, that's what i would have a problem with um but she does admit that hey maybe i should have shut it down earlier which you should have um i can now see in my mind if i was there i would be like well wait a minute is this why Bryn said that Aaron said that Jenna is poor. That's what I would think. Um, <coughs> so the group starts talking about starts talking about this whole Jeff Jeff Lewis podcast thing, um, and they're talking about like having a sugar daddy and everybody's joking, um, and. Bryn says, oh, Bryn is like, but he, she wasn't talking about, he wasn't talking about sugar daddy. He was saying that I sleep with men for money. And Cy is, Cy finds her way over and she kind of gets kind of smart with her and says, no, no, he didn't. He did not. So they roll the tape. What Jeff says is Jeff asks if someone is helping her financially. And then one of his, his co-hosts says, what, like a, uh, like an arrangement. That's what is said. Um, so Cy then gets into it with Bryn. She says, listen, you're lying. And what was it that Jen, Jenna and Aaron, 
Was Jenna and Aaron getting, did they get on your nerves because they're getting close? So you want to like drive a wedge in there. Is that what's going on? And, um, and she says, because when I went to that party at your house, I walk in and the atmosphere is really weird. It's just really odd. And Bryn was like, well, it was, it was weird because you made a joke about her husband. You called, you called her, you called Jessel's husband a name. And then she came up with the receipts. There, the text from, the text from, um, Cy to Jessel was, fuck you, Jessel, and your Dory from Nemo lookalike husband too. So that's, and and listen, and then Cy calls Bryn gaslighting, nar narcissistic, gaslighting, narcissistic asshole. Um, and then is like, listen, Jessel and I have moved on. We're in a good, good space. So why are you deflecting this now um, to make this about Jessel? I don't understand. Cy then starts yelling, not today, Satan, not today, not today, Satan. And gets up and leaves the table. And then Bryn leaves. And like, like, um, oh, who was it? Like Cy said. Cy was like, well, there goes my, there's my therapy for today. I mean, waste of money there. Um, so there we go. That was the first episode. This season, oh, this season, we're going to find out that Abe is lying. What is he lying about? Listen, I'm going to say cheating. We'll see. That's what I think. And we're going to find out who got pregnant by another man. <gasps> okay. So listen, that being said, <clears throat> let me know in the comments if you watched. What did you think? Uh, the taglines The taglines were okay. I liked Bryn's, um, but for Bryn... For Bryn, that's going to work out. Her tagline about being mother. I mean, I liked it, but I feel like it is more like millennial based. So I don't know if a lot of like the older people are going to, are going to understand what being mother means. I know what it means, but all the others, I was like, eh, they weren't, they, they weren't my cup of tea. I don't know. So anyways, let me know in the comments what you thought. It is coming up 7.30. So we're going to get ready for the Golden Bachelorette. Like I said, I apologize for not, <laughs> for being so far behind on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I didn't even realize it was on. So, and also listen, um, there's not going to be a motivational mornings tomorrow because I just don't have one ready. I got a lot to do right now. So, listen, you can do it. You know you can. So, there it is. It's a motivational morning right now. So, listen, if nobody told you yet today you are loved, seen, and heard, please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity out there in the world so it comes right back at you. Please take care of one another. Be aware of your surroundings. Be safe. Hydrate. Hydrate often. If you are someplace where there is extreme weather or you're the victim of flooding, please be mindful, be safe, be smart, and know that we are sending, we are sending our love out to you and we are keeping you in our prayers. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.